Okay, so I don't remember if I actually showed you guys this in the other video that I just posted a couple days ago. I probably talked about it in between. Hell, I don't remember. It's been a few days. So I'll show you what I'm doing here. It's like, oh, uh, freak the cubs in here. So, uh, yeah. Um, I got the carburetor off of it, and I'm going to stick it in this, uh, this ultrasonic cleaner that I picked up. Um, so uh, I've got it in here. I'm going to turn it on and show you what it's doing. So what I've done so far is I actually turned the heater on, which is this light here, and then I let it sit for a little bit so it starts to get good and warm, and then I actually turn it on. So um, let's see what it does here. Let me see a little bubble coming up over here. Let's see out the uh, light here, what little bit I got. Yeah, it's not fully submerged. Um, what I'll do is I'll just flip it over here in a little while. Um, it only goes for like 470 or 480 seconds. That noise is really, really annoying to me. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you at the end process. I'm going to stay in here and make you guys listen to this crap. So, Well, that ain't no good, guys. So I'm pretty sure that uh, this engine is very, very tired and uh, needs some uh, internal help because... Um, just doing a uh, little uh, compression test here because um, it's just it had everything that needed except for what I thought and I was hoping it wasn't that but uh, I think it is so um, I'm only getting about 32 33 psi on the uh, on my gauge here so I'll show you this she's uh, leaking down now um, but it was just as at that first line above the 30 there so um, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to uh, do some uh, tear down on this and see what's going on. Um, you guys seen it run, it just didn't seem to run right, so, uh, I don't know. It's one of those things where it kind of depresses me a little, but these engines are uh, reasonably uh, rebuildable, so the thing is, is I wanted to have it ready for winter time, and uh, there's probably not any way for me to do that unless I find a whole engine to put in it because I'm almost positive this big engine that I have, this big um, big one I have in that Craftsman, that big 18 horse supposed, um, I'm almost positive it won't fit in here um, without some major modification to the frame and I'd like to keep it as original as possible but I don't know if that's going to be possible so we'll have to see, I don't know, it's got me a little uh, bummed out here so if you guys know any uh, tricks or anything here, I did spray some lube down in the cylinder. You know, I put a you know a couple of teaspoons of oil down inside there, and uh, you know, spun it over a little bit, and it's still is it's still dropping now. I mean, it's done dropped about halfway down the cylinder. I mean, I'm expecting it to drop. I mean, they all do, but at the same point, this thing's probably pretty tired. Um, I have found rebuild kits and things like that, so might be my uh, first experience here on uh, rebuilding an engine because I mean there's not a whole lot to these things I was hoping it's just a carburetor issue but it doesn't look that way well guys uh, we'll see what else goes on here I don't know how much I'm else I'm doing um, it's like moon, uh, it's like noon and um, I'm freaking up and at it messing around out here I was gonna mess with the rat mode but I'm just about deciding that I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I think I'm going to, uh, to scrap it out and uh, work on a different project. Um, I like the whole idea and the concept of it. Uh, I don't know, I might let it sit for a little while longer and see what I want to do, but I haven't completely decided that that's what I want to do. I don't know. I'm kind of indecisive right now. But um, yeah, I've got that big uh, it's in this big craftsman right here and you see it right there this one uh, the one I used to move the shed back uh, the a uh, few months ago there so if you guys go over and look over that way um, back in the day I can't say in the day but back a couple months ago where I moved the shed um, it's a it's a Kohler 18 horse posed um, and I don't know if that fits in here or not if you guys got any places that you know of um, information for this uh, cub because I think the engine's going to end up coming out of this thing. Uh, I don't know. Be kind of entertaining to turn it into a pulling tractor, but it's just beyond expensive for right now. So 
I don't know guys, we'll see what else goes on for today. So this is the uh, high side, I went back and uh, uh, checked it again and she come up just a little bit but not much. Uh, I looked online and it's supposed to be at least 50, um, so which puts it in between. So she's right at about 40 now, so she's a little low. Um, could be just that it's got carbon in the cylinder or on the valves or something, not allowing it to do the compression enough. Um, what I'll end up doing, I'm gonna have to take this top end apart and see see what's going on. Cause um, yeah, head gaskets are relatively cheap. I mean, worst case is I pull the head off of it and it's bad and I have to tear the whole motor apart. But with it being in here, um, if I do take it out, if I take the head off of it and it's bad, I'm gonna have to pull the whole engine off of it before I stuff it back outside. Cause I'm not leaving a you know open cylinder out outside because um, it'll just rust and get nasty and cause other problems. So yeah um so she's going guys okay guys uh so i've been sitting here messing around went and actually took a nap because i'm just got up and stayed up i should have went back to bed but um yeah so went and been looking at stuff for this uh cub cadet and uh i found the rebuild kits for it for uh between a hundred and ish plus or minus a little bit uh just depending on if you need the piston and rod um, this depends on what would go on with this one, so 150-ish to rebuild it and make it like new, but that's, I'm going to have to buy a few tools, of course, you know, buy a hone and all that stuff and hone out the cylinder and, uh, um, get some cylinder, or I don't know what they are, I actually get some gauges and stuff because I don't have any of that stuff either. <clears throat> um, I do have one gauge, but it's, uh, it doesn't work for that type of stuff. It's good for measuring the outside and inside di diameters, but not a cylinder. It's different. Um, so, I don't know, guys. I'm debating. I'm kind of on a ledge here debating, and I'm thinking about getting rid of this thing. I don't know. Um, I did find a guy on Craigslist that has engines listed for right around $100, 100 150 bucks for an engine, and I pull one out and put another one in it and, and go from there, but that's I have 100 in them in the mower or on the tractor and then 150 in it so they put me at 250 in it just to make it back running so I don't know I don't know guys I'm debating anybody interested in a uh, Cub Cadet 127 